People ask me all the time, man, you know, how would your life be if you didn't train martial arts? And I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I would not have a clue. The, the process of training and the process of personal refinement, the process of, of personal development is so ingrained in my person, I don't know exactly who I would be. Sometimes I hit the coach, sometimes I miss the coach, but I do the coach because after grip fighting and moving, I'm ahead in terms of movement what? Tempo. If I'm ahead in terms of tempo, I don't want to give up the tempo. The grip fighting allows me to get the tempo and keep the tempo, which puts the person behind, and once they're behind, they're in a situation when they have to chase, and when they have to chase, that is when the big throw opens. A lot of people start looking for the big throws it's kind of like looking for the big shot in MMA. I don't look for the big shot. What I do is I constantly feed this person a healthy dose of what? Jabs, jab, 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 and then bam, and then I wait for the two. Everybody's looking for the big home run shot in judo or stand up, and what you need to look for are the healthy jabs. Now, I cannot throw healthy jabs without doing the work and doing the reps. Kouchi, Ouchi, and Osotogari are three of the most important techniques, especially in the new judo marketplace today. And the reason why I call judo a marketplace is because people make a lot of money in judo. A lot. It is an international sport, and inside of that marketplace, you have to know where to invest your time and your energy dollars. It's cool to learn all the fancy throws. Making sure that you have a quality jab is important too. Your Ouchi and your Kouchi guard and your Osora guard are super important for your development, especially as it pertains to grip fighting. So, let's review. Standard gripping sequence. Standard judo, standard what we call Steve Lapel, Lapel Steve Judo. One, three, two. Basic gripping sequence. One, Two, shake, shake, three. Now, where am I? Not on shake, shake, three. Now, here's, the, here's the thing. When I go one, two, shake, shake, three, this is where I need to do what before I attack? I need to step what? I need to step out. Now I need to step out. On the, on the one, two, step out, three, I'm combining the step out movement with the gripping. But I always tell my, my students, and I put it in place in the beginning, is before you throw, make sure you step what? Step out. You want to step out. You don't want to sit here in the middle of the person trying to bang them with an assault or to get countered with an assault. I'm doing that because I'm always trying to keep them ahead in terms of movement, tempo. When they get older, they'll know whether to move to the right or to the left or to the back or to faint or fake the hip. They'll know. In the beginning, I make sure that I'm training you to step out. Step out of what we call in boxing, what we call in fencing, the center of what, Rufus? Right. The center line. I step off and step out of the center line. And then I attack. Basic gripping sequence. One, two, shake, shake, three. As soon as I get here, what do I do next? Boom, elbow comes up, step out, boom, boom. Now I can do what? Now I'm ready to do my own solo. Now I'm ready for a solo. Here. One, two. Now, I'm, now since I stepped out, now I'm ready to do what? Coach you. Boom, coach you. Four. One, two, six, six, three. Now, coach you. Right. I can come back. Coach you. 